oh, and I went to, I, I don't have a Walmart near me, but I went to the one near, near Blockbuster. It's really not that far. It's one of those Walmarts that have not even been fixed up yet. All the Walmarts have been turned into either a supermarket or fixed up to at least carry some refrigerated items. This Walmart has not been fixed up yet. It's like really run down. But they're one of the only, one of the two only Walmarts that will carry wet and wild. So when I, I called them up and I asked them about, um, will they, are they going to bring in any displays? And they said yes. So my, I'll tell you a little bit more about this more. With the bed bug, uh, the exterminator coming here, uh, I had to leave for four hours. So I said, what the heck, I'm just going to run every errand I could think of that I would have to do this week and just do it today. So I stopped by and... They have an end cap display, really huge and nice, where it looks like they just started carrying wet and wild. So I, I know Walmart does not carry limited edition displays, displays anymore. They have it for like maybe it's over 10 years or maybe 10 years. So, but it was really nice. And on my way to looking for the wet and wild display, they started finally carrying the palettes that I showed you last week. The, um, the Milani abstract and illusionist they had and they had like three three slots too for it they didn't have the paint one yet but they there was um illusionist and abstract so you would save a couple of pennies because they always try to like lower it about 20 cents and you don't have to pay the shipping so i mean you have to pay the tax but so uh, just to let you guys know, Walmart is finally carrying it after I paid the $5, but that's okay.